thank you both so today i'm just going to be discussing about my first semester the classes i took the classes i'm doing next semester and how i studied studying is really different from this from just being a biology student and now i just changed a whole bunch of study habits and yeah so first i want to state the courses that i took for this semester this week's actually or next week's actually finals week so i already took one final this week and then we just did a whole bunch of review for it to next finals for next week and we still have clinicals this week but next week we don't have finals week um so i know i'm not sure if every single program's like this but for the program that here at mayo clinic we have to take a foundations of sonography first so it's just like the basics of like ultrasound and what you're going to be doing and just making sure you understand what's going on this course you have to pass before you get on to the other three courses i'm going to be stating here in a little bit so when you pass those classes the three classes i took this semester was abdomen one vascular one and gynecology or gynecologic sonography i'm going i'm going to be a little bit more in depth in a little bit here but we did those three courses and clinical so clinical is a little different for us than other programs that have been told like other sonographers they've told me something different but for our program at Mayo we do our classes and clinicals so we do two days of lecture one day of lab and then two days of clinical all day so like 8 a.m. to 4 30. It's just like a regular like work shift, like eight hour shift. But I feel like that's a little different from other programs. Other programs do like their physics and courses first, and then the last I don't know, like year or so they do their clinicals. Like ours, we do it all together, so clinicals and um, our classes. So for the semester for abdomen one, we actually discussed and learned about the spleen, the renal, and the abdomen vessels. And I want to say renal was the hardest for me, just because it's just so much information. There was like six lessons in that one unit, so just trying to get a grasp of everything was a little bit more difficult for me. Um, it just took a lot of my time. But the easiest was the vessels, just because I can really visualize it in my head. Um, I create a picture in front of me and just kind of point out where everything's at. But for renal and spleen, you actually have to know like how the masses look like, the, the different, you have to differentiate the masses, like knowing they're malignant, what kind of cysts, what kind of mass, because there's different names for these masses. So um, I think those are kind of the harder ones for me. And the second one I want to discuss is gynecology or gynecologic sonography. So it's kind of like abdomen. You have to know um, like the mass, the cysts, and how they look like, the symptoms, if their uterus is big or if this endometrium is big. You have to know like the regular shape of them and um, like how the average size of them. And that was what gynecology was all about like knowing the pathology uterus um like normal looking uterus obviously and and next uh, so about like the ovaries and everything like that and the second one or sorry third one i honestly don't know how to go the third one is vascular one so the first lesson or unit is just knowing the Doppler and how they take the spectrals and everything like that and what it is. And the second unit was um, intracranial, sorry, not intra, extracranial. It's like the eyes, like everything on your neck was really cool. And the intracranial is everything in your head, like all the vessels inside your head. Um, it's like knowing the collateral pathways if something is occluded or you have stenosis here in your neck like how would it go to your brain and there's all those different things and that was my favorite so those are i guess you may say four classes in clinical that i took my dog's like trying to jump on my bed no
go. And then for next semester, we actually have OB. So we had clinicals in OB, but we haven't had like an actual class on it. We kind of just had like a brief, broad overview of what it is. So it was nice going there. So we had we have OB, abdomen two, vascular two, and clinical. So three classes and clinical. So it's kind of like what we're doing here in first semester for three classes and one clinical. The foundations, we were only focused on that for like a month and then we stepped into the three classes after that. So that's why it's a little different. Um, hopefully that makes sense. And now we are going to dive in on how I studied for these classes. So for abdomen and GYN, it's really memorization, knowing the clinical symptoms and knowing the um, traits and the characteristics of the masses and the cysts and knowing this banana malignant. Um, those are, like I said, and those are kind of the hardest because for GYN, gynecology or gynecologic sonography they kind of look alike so you have to know what you're really looking at knowing if the mass is coming out from the endometrium or the myometrium so endometrium is the inside and myometrium is like the muscles of the uterus so you have to know like where it's coming from because it's different mass and cysts so um it's kind of hard to differentiate between them, but that's why we have biopsies to really know what's the difference, but but it's kind of like just putting everything together and trying to figure out what it is, you know, so um, Those are mainly on memorization and understanding what's going on with the patient to put everything together and for vascular it's a little different because you have to know the spectrals and stuff and the color Doppler or the colors of the image and that's what makes it different is you're making you're helping the radiologist make a diagnostic diagnose or helping them diagnose the patient based on the spectral for vascular you have to know like the spectrals the range and everything like that and know what's going on but for abdomen and GYN it's kind of just actually visually seeing the image and um, putting the symptoms and everything together to understand what's my dog's like itching himself to understand what the patient have so um, that's just kind of two different things and why things so vascular is more like quantitative and abdomen GYN is more like qualitative like how it looks like and vascular is like the numbers and the velocities of what's going on inside um, the person. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, that's how I di that's how I can dif uh, differentiate between the two classes and how I would describe it to someone. Um, so more into my study habits is I use Quizlet Quizlet a lot. Um, I think it's probably like. $20 a year to add pictures and stuff and I highly recommend it because like I said again for abdomen and GYN you really need like images to know what you're looking at which is really good so one thing that my program does is that they list all the objectives of each single lesson so I always just go through those and make sure I understand what's going on and what they're asking me to understand you know um, another thing that I like to do is really asking myself questions when I'm reviewing or looking through this information is asking like, okay, if I put this and this together, what would be the result or what could be the possible diagnosis of this? So it's always just asking yourself questions and understanding what's going on with like the patient's symptoms or patient's um, images or anything like that. So, and one thing that I really like to do is planning my week ahead. So for example, if I know I have an exam on Friday, I will probably start studying on Monday or even a Friday. So I give myself five days to a week to study. So for example, if I have an exam and there's three units 
um, an exam, or exam, I study one unit, like one or two days extensively, and then go through all the objectives of every single lesson. So even if it's unit two and three, I go through all the objectives just to see like what I know and what I don't know. So that's what I really like. And I'm the type of person, I get stressed out if I don't have a lot of things. So sp spreading out my studying time really keeps me sane. So that's what I like to do. And I really recommend it to people who has a lot going on, especially with work and school and just kind of planning out your week and checking off the list when you're done with that. It makes you feel good. And so once I do that for like three days, I extensively study those three units. Um, the last two days, I would just review my objectives. And if it comes, if I read the objective and it just comes in my head like I know it, then that means I understand it. And that's just the way that I see it and how I study. And I also look at um, the notes as well because it's very important to me understanding the notes. So the thing I really like about my programs, like they don't throw you curveballs. What you learn is what they test you on. And that's how I see the difference between undergrads and this program. Because in undergrads, they kind of like, sometimes they throw you curveballs and you're kind of like lost in a ditch and don't know what you're doing. Um, but this program, they're testing on what you actually know. So that's, that's why I like it. And, makes everything a little easier for me knowing that I will be testing on what I know on what they're teaching me so um that's kind of how I study is give myself a week of five seven days every night or I designate one day to extensively study one unit that same night I always look at all the objectives of every single unit and then after I'm done with that day the next day I study unit two and the day after that I study unit three and every single night I just look at all the objectives and then the last two nights I really extensively um, look at the objectives ask myself questions and what it is and put everything together so um, that is the classes I took and the way I study for these programs, or not programs, classes, it makes everything a little bit more easier for me, especially when I work too, so, um, it keeps me happy, it gives me a lot of free time for myself too, and my dog, I like taking to a dog park, so, um, yeah, so far so good, the program's pretty good, you know, just gotta get through these, there's last two finals basketball and gyn so let's see how that goes and i really hope this video helped you guys and um i hope you guys get some tips on how to study for any of your classes even if you're a sonography student nursing student i know some i hope some of the things i said can help many people out there just to study you know so if you guys have any questions or recommendations for videos feel free to comment below and thanks for watching this video